Adventures of Tintin by Hergé. Dramatized by Simon Eastwood. Six, Tintin in Tibet. To the editor from Tintin, famous boy reporter. Subject, the abominable snowman. The Captain Snowy and I decided to take a well-earned holiday after our great expedition to the moon in the peace and serenity of the mountains of Europe. Hello, Captain. Had a good day? Hey, oh, marvellous thing. What about you? <laughs> Exhausted, I'll bet. <laughs> oh, a bit tired, I must say. But on top of the world, the mountains are superb and the air is like champagne. You ought to come up with me one day. Who? Me? Oh, oh, not only that. Certainly helps to clear the mind. And the stomach. <laughs> I still feel quite stunned by that nightmare, though. Nightmare? Nothing that a drink wouldn't cure. Oh, talking of which, a oh, waiter. It's ghastly. Chang, my old friend Chang, half buried in snow, calling to me. Help, Tintin, help! Oh, forget about it, boy. Dreams go by opposites, so they say. It was so Wait, horribly uh, real. What beats me is this passion for clambering over piles of rocks. It beats me too, but I, I don't have much of a say in the matter. Your whiskey, senor. Ah, splendid. Is this your glass, senor? Uh, yes, and as I'm a haddock, you may fill it. Ha <laughs> ha, good. Senor. Ah. Who needs the champagne of the mountains when you've the whiskey of the hotel? Mm, thanks for ordering me one, Captain. It is for you, senor. Ah, thank you. Mm. Always seeing accidents in the papers. Mountain drama here, alpine disaster there. <laughs> Mountainous seas are all right, but real mountains ought to be abolished. At least that would put a stop to all these planes bumping into them. This letter's from Hong Kong. It's been forwarded by Nesta from Marlin's Pike. I was reading a story in the paper only today. A DC-3 crashed into the Gossain Tan Massif in Tibet on a flight from Patna to Kathmandu. Oh, dear. It's the last we'll see of those poor devils. It's a letter from Chang. Oh, you must admit it's a remarkable coincidence. Oh, I suppose so. What's he say, anyway? Well, he says he's been invited to London by his uncle. Oh. Hooray! Although unworthy of such an invitation, I have accepted. I fly to Calcutta, then on to Nepal. My venerable father wishes me to visit Kathmandu to pay my respects to his honourable... cousin. Nepal? Kathmandu? The plane that hit the mountains. Quick, the paper! Perhaps there'll be some details of the crash. Oh, no, but did you? As soon as news of the crash, party of Sherpa sir. What else, what else? Yes, here. There's a list of those missing. Rajat Mullin, Son Li Po, Athlid Kulin. What is it, old boy? Can you all right? Tintin? Oh, blister. Oh. No, 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 no. Chang. Poor friend Chang. Tintin, I'm so sorry. Chang! Tintin, old man. We shall never see him again. Never. Don't cry, Tintin. No. It isn't true. I know Chang is not dead. Not dead. He's alive, I'm sure of it. The accident happened days ago, but last night I saw Chang alive, calling for help, but alive. But that was just a dream you had, boy. It wasn't real. I know, but it wasn't an ordinary dream. It was it was a sort of premonition, telepathy, something like that. A steady on. He's alive, I tell you. I'm packing my bag and leaving for Nepal. Uh, well, look here, old man. It's madness. I must save Chang. Oh, 10,000 thundering typhoons. How can you save someone who's already dead? Chang isn't dead. <laughs> all right, all right. Even if he were alive, why should you be able to find him when Sherpas and experienced mountaineers have failed? Captain, I'm convinced that Chang is alive. Maybe it's stupid, but there it is. And since I believe that he's alive, I'm going to look for him. All right, all right. Be obstinate. Go to Nepal. Go to Timbuktu. Go to Vladivostok, for all I care. But you'll be on your own, remember? I am not coming, and that's right. When I say no, I mean no. Right. Where in Kathmandu? Where to now? Well, Captain, first of all, we'll see the airport manager. Ah, just you see what he has to say. You must be mad, young man. That's what I keep telling him. I'm quite certain no guide will agree to go with you. Ah, see? But if you wish, I'll put you in touch with Sherpa Tharki, who led the rescue party. Mm. I really am very grateful. But I can tell you now what his answer will be. You're mad. Oh, me no want to risk three lives. Your life, life of Captain, and my life... I suppose my life counts for nothing. But you see, Tharky, I'm convinced that Chang isn't dead. Him dead. 
I go there. I see broken aeroplane. Not possible to live. Oh, too cold. Nothing to eat. You not go. You too young to die. Yes, it's only common sense, old lad. You really must give up this daft idea. Yes. What Tharky says is true. Ah, fine. Now you're talking sense at last. I have no right to risk your lives. I knew you'd see reason. I shall go alone. What? All right, go. But on your own, I've trailed along this far, thundering typhoons. I'm not playing nursemaid any longer. Enter. Captain, I, I've come to say goodbye. Oh. But your rucksack! Oh, disgraceful. Entirely filled with tobacco and bottles of whiskey. Can you imagine for one moment I'd let a young whippersnapper like you go off alone? Not on your life. But you said that oh, you... Oh, but, but, but. Don't start being awkward. I'm going with you whether you like it or not. Captain? Yes, what do you want? I am Porter. Sherpa Thaki sent me, Captain. He said everything ready. Ah, good. Uh, guard those bottles with your life. And tell <laughs> Thaki we're coming. Thaki too? Uh, seeing you insisted on going, I decided to have another crack at Tharky. I, I told him how you were the best friend anyone could have. You all that nonsense. Anyway, I persuaded him to take us as far as the wreckage, but no further. And once you are up there, at least you realise there isn't the remotest chance of finding anyone alive. Captain, you're a marvel. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Well, come on. Now, Tharky won't wait forever. <laughs> Through rivers and jungle-like forests we trudged, across bridges hanging precariously over ravines, until finally, a week later, we arrived at the snow line, the mountains of Tibet looming above us. We come here tonight, Tintin. Tin. Oh, at last we're nearing our goal. Oh, but I'm too warm my back, blistering barnacles. You mean blistering paws, Captain? Across there, Tibet. Aeroplane wreck there. Tomorrow we arrive. Now... What's that noise? Not me. Not me. Not me. Yeti. That, that, that is Yeti. The abominable snowman. How oh, abominable rubbish. Fairy stories, old wives' tales. Who's ever seen this famous Yeti? Oh, do not laugh, Captain. Yeti is real. Very big. Very strong. Eat eyes and hands of men he kill. <laughs> You're imagining things, it's only the wind. Oh, here's something real enough. Oh, you're not drinking, Captain. What? If Yeti smell alcohol, he come. Yeti likes alcohol. Not the only one. One day near Sadoa, he find bottle of very strong beer and drink it. Drinking alcohol? What are you on earth you're babbling about? He get drunk, go to sleep. Men from village tie him up, but Yeti very strong when he no longer sleep. Yeah, he wake up with shocking hangover, like me, I know. He wake up, break ropes, and then... Off he goes. Ah, get out. You've made your point. Ah. Uh, well, I'm up to bed. Good night. I say the captain's left his bottle behind. I can tell you it'll take more than an abominable snowman to keep me awake. No, oh, he might have left the top off. <laughs> it's a cold morning. Come, we go. Uh, billions of blistering barnacles, my bottle of whiskey. I was wondering when you would Tintin, click... tin, tin, did you pick up that bottle I left over here last night? No, I thought you took it with you into your tent. What about Tharky? Oh, me? No. Porter? No, Captain, no see it. Oh, thundering typhoons, it can't just have vanished. Oh, Snowy, <laughs> have you been a naughty doggy? Oh, if only, Captain, if only. Stolen? I'll go stolen by Yeti. Oh, rubbish. What sort of idiot do you take me for? A half-baked haddock. Oh, come, we start. Long journey today. No, no, no. No, no. I'll not go further. First you steal my whiskey. Now you won't go on. I not want to be killed by Yeti. Oh, him yeah. drink Captain's alcohol. Make him very bad now. Do you think I'm shocked in the head? Uh, I go home to my village. <laughs> Thundering typer. <laughs> hey, you come back here, you <laughs> lily-livered loon. It's no good. He's very frightened. He's gone. Now we cannot go on. But we simply must go on, Tharky. We can't give up now. Impossible. We cannot carry Porter's load. We'll dump anything that isn't absolutely essential. Tharky, we've got to save Chang. <laughs> Here 
we are, Tintin. These remains of aeroplane. Now you see, no one living here. The journey has been waste of time. <laughs> not so fast, Lucky. There might not be anyone here, but not anywhere. Is it not true, Captain? It looks like that to me, and no mistake. On balance, I must agree with half-baked Haddock. <sighs> we camp here tonight. Tomorrow, return to the valley. Well, I'm going to have a look around. Over there, towards that rock face. Oh, as you like. I'm getting into whatever's left of this plane. We need some shelter. Snowy old boy. If I'd been in Chang's place, and I'd come out of the crash alive. This is where I would have headed. I say, don't you think it's about time we had a breather? Look. The mouth of a cave. Let's go in. There's something I don't like about it. Stop growling, Snowy. I tell you, someone or something has been here. Look. There's something carved on this rock. Some letters. They seem to spell a name. Chang! Oh, great snake's Chang! His name in Chinese and he's carved it in our script too! So I wasn't mistaken. Chang did survive the accident. He sheltered here, but in heaven's name, what's become of him? Come on, Snowy, we must tell the others! <laughs> Still nothing, Captain. It's getting worrying. It's two hours since he left. We can do nothing but wait in shelter of planes or storm passes. Uh. <laughs> this is crazy. I ought to have waited in the cave till it stopped. I've completely lost my bearings now. Help! <laughs> Not a sound. It's getting dark, too. What will become of us now, Snowy? Well, we'll probably be found a hundred years from now. Perfectly preserved. Saved. Someone's there. Yes, look. It's the captain. Help! Captain! <laughs> captain! Oh, he can't hear me. He's getting further away. This is awful. Captain! Captain! <laughs> Yes, it's me easy up of it. Listen. Oh, Yeti. Yeti, my freezing foot. I've heard that cry before. It's snowy. It's snowy howling for the dead. Something must have happened to Tintin. Snowy, you're buried in that stuff here. Uh, what's happened to you, Master? I said, oh, he's passed out. Here, fallen into crevasse. Thundering typhoons. You know me, I saw you what to do. Yes, right, right. Oh, oh. let's hope the rope holds. Now don't let go, Captain. Don't you worry, Thaki. Captain, ahoy there, Captain. Oh, don't bother me now. Can't you see him? Tintin! Oh, Tintin, give me a hand! The rope! Don't let go the rope! Wonder... Ah! Oh! Oh, got it. Ooh. Oh, what a close one. I think we've had enough excitement for one day, Captain. Come on, let's get Snowy back to the plane. Well, where do we get Tharky back up? Oh, look. Snowy coming round. Hello, hero. <laughs> What happened then, Tintin? Good boy. Well, when I came to, I crawled along the bottom of the crevasse. It gradually sloped upwards. Then, after a few acrobatics, I managed to get out. Uh, that was after I saw you, Captain, in the blizzard. But me? <laughs> I never budged from the plane. Oh, and it was you, Tharky. Oh, me? No, 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 not me. Well, then, who was it that I saw? You saw Yeti, Tintin. No doubt. We got down quickly to Valley. Great danger for us. Besides, no one alive up here. But there is, Tharky. In an ice cave, I discovered a stone on which Chang carved his name. It absolutely proves that he survived the crash. Come and look. Look. Where is he now? Where? In that direction? Or in that? Yeah, Tharky's right, didn't you? You can't see your hand in front of your face. Yes. 
we must accept the evidence. Tomorrow morning, we leave. Come along, Tintinelder. You've done everything humanly possible. Goodbye, my friend. Come along, no good hang about. Tharky? Captain, stop! Don't go! What's that yellow thing up there on the rock face? Where can you see something in yellow? Up there, follow the direction of my finger. <laughs> Quick, my binoculars. It's a bit of rag. No, a scarf. Take a look, Tharky. A yellow scarf, caught in a rock. You're right. A scarf? Well, give me the binoculars. It's absolute proof that Chang is alive. He's even shown us the way up to find him. Come on, Tharky, let's go. Well, I can't see anything. Oh, no, Tin Tin. I not go on. I go home, for I am sure Chang is dead. But the scarf, Tharky. No proof. Only real climber could scale such a rock face. Where the devil did you see this scarf, anyway? Need special boots, ropes, and other things. I still can't see this precious scarf. I don't know how it comes up there. In a storm, perhaps. Or with Yeti. Blastery mysticals, it's the barnacle. I mean, yeltering barnacles, it's a blistery. I mean, up there! Look! Look up there, the Yeti! Where? <laughs> Let me look. I can't see it, are you sure? It's sure, sure, I'm sure. Sort of enormous monkey with a head like an overgrown coconut. He bolted like a rabbit. Well, Yeti or no Yeti, I'm going up there. And you, Captain? Tintin, you're enough to drive a man to drink. In other words, yes. It's sheer lunacy, but I'm with you. What did I say? And you, Tharky? Yes? No. I not follow you. Very brave, but well, you not know mountain dangers. Very foolish. Perhaps. Well, Tharky... In that case, this is where we park. Goodbye, and very many thanks. We couldn't have had a better guide. Yes, I'll drink to that. Goodbye, Tharky. Goodbye. I hope you one day return to your country. Now, we're on our way. At first, I'll strap Snowy to my rucksack. <laughs> then I suggest we rope up, Captain. Oh, it's for a scarf, mystery, articles. It. Here's the scarf. I'm very pleased for you. Oh, crikey, what a view, huh? Oh, Captain, look at it, bloodstains. Yes, yes, I can see. But even supposing that this is Chang's scarf, what then? What do you suggest now, eh? To go on, Captain. <laughs> to think there are people who do this for fun. Not me. Ah! Ah! Oh, no! <laughs> He's hanging on the end of the rope in midair. air <laughs> That was a dear thing. Oh, Lord, I'm really at the end of a feather. But I'm safe thanks to you and the rope. It's amazing stuff, Nylon. Hey, now, can you hold me up? No such luck, Captain. If I make the slightest move, it's the high dive for both of us. Three of us? Thundering typhoons I can't reach to gain a foothold on that perishing rock face. Oh, Captain, he obviously doesn't realise with each jerk the rope cuts further into me. I hope, Mr. I can't make it. I'm beginning to freeze. Can you hang on up there? For as long as possible, but I feel myself getting weaker and paralyzed with cold. Well, that's no good. At least save yourself. Cut the rope and steal the answer. Never. Either we're both saved or we die together. Oh, I suppose I don't get a say in this. Yeah, but the two, isn't it? All right, I'll do it myself. Captain, I implore you, don't do it. You're mad. I'll get this blade open. Ah! That's it! Ah. I'm gonna do it! Goodbye, Tintin! I'm going! No, Captain, please! No! Oh, oh, better thing! Blistering particles I can't miss! Blasted my blood! Excuse me, I may be sometime! Ah. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? What's that noise? What? What noise? What? Captain! Captain, don't cut the rope! <laughs> We're safe! Tell us, Tharky, why did you come back to find us? I go towards village, but I think of you. Were you, young man, risking your life to save Chinese friends? <laughs> I tell myself, I am a coward. I turn back and follow you. Now we go on. I know a monastery. I'm not moving another step. Come on, Captain. It'll take an earthquake to ship me. Come on! No! You do it for a swig of whiskey. What? Oh, well. Quick! 
Really, blessed lightning, you're as gullible as a poopy young peasant. It's an avalanche, neither more nor less. Look, blessed lightning ascends into the air. He's going to have another vision. Blessed lightning and his visions. When you think he is as blind as a bat from Weepyang. Silence, shining light. Blessed lightning speaks. Tall man and a young boy with a great heart. And a little dog, white as powder snow. They are in mortal danger. Great Heart is walking, walking, walking. He is at the end of his strength. Great Heart falls. It's no good. My ankle's twisted. I can't go on. Snowy, it's up to you. Run to the monastery, get help. <laughs> A dog, white as powder snow. <laughs> really? Look, a dog approaches. It is powder snow. <laughs> oh, how am I supposed to get this bunch of nuns to help me? We <laughs> are monks, powder snow. Oh, oh dear, someone heard me. <laughs> oh. Show us the way to your friends, oh, barking. Yes, follow me. Welcome, O travellers, to the monastery of Kobian. You have slept for two days. I trust you are replenished. Yes. Thank you, Grand Abbot. You have been most kind. Yes, very good of you, Grand Abbot. Uh, uh, what I would like to know is why everyone's bald around here. <laughs> Your guide, Faki, suffered a broken leg. He is comfortable now, but will need to rest for two weeks. You have told me the purpose of your journey. You have braved a hundred dangers. You have suffered solely for the love you bear your friend. Chang, that's right. You are indeed noble and credit your race as Powder Snow credits his race too. Alas, young stranger, here in Tibet the mountains keep those whom they take. And the vultures make sure no traces remain. Tomorrow a caravan leaves here bound for Nepal. You must join it. Ah, yes, that's a good idea, Grand, uh, grand Piano. Yes, isn't it, Tintin? Isn't it? Great heart, you have dropped this. Crikey, it's him again. Hello, Paul. Uh, how, 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 how do you do? Cheng Scarf. Really is very kind. No, that monk is rising into the air. A boy. The scarf belongs to him. He is lying on a bed of juniper branches. Catch him this quest, brother. Alas, he is possessed by devils. He has a fever. But who is this approaching him? Photo, quick! No one ever believe us. Too late to snap the floating father. He's come down to earth. <laughs> what an oddball. I heard that. Pod us more. <laughs> Where's the horn of the yak? The horn of the yak. There is a mountain of that name near the village of Charabang. But if your friend is a prisoner of the Migu, it would be better if he were dead. What's the Migu? The abominable snowman. <laughs> what? That's dreadful. We simply must save him. I'll say something to him, grand grandfather. Make him give up this crazy idea. Listen, Captain, don't be angry with me. I'm leaving for Charavang. You must understand I can't do otherwise. Come on, Snowy. Oh, marvellous. Do you think the Yeti would like me pre-cooked or just as I am? All right, all right. Do as you please. Go to Mars for all I care. I'm going home to Marlin's bike. <laughs> Ah, 
I have been sitting here for three days at the foot of this yak-shaped mountain waiting for this confounded Miku of yours to poke his nose out. Patience, Captain, patience. Remember, I'm only here to take a photograph of the blundering baboon. Oh, if only I could have a good pipe. Oh, but no, the poor delicate little yeti's nose is so sensitive. <laughs> What's that? What's that? The Yeti! It's just come out from behind a rock over there! It's going! It's disappeared! Oh, good. This is it! Now's our chance! He's out of his lair! Come on, Captain! Not a moment to lose! Don't forget the camera! Get a photograph of the Yeti! Imagine what a sensation okay. it was! You do the close up! I'll do the long shot! Okay, you stay here and keep a lookout! If you see the Yeti coming back, give me a whistle! Like this! Right, no problem. Oh dear, off we go out of the frying pan. Here we are, the entrance to the cave. Mm. Chang, Chang! Who's, who's that? Who is it? Chang! Yes! Oh, Chang, it's me, Tintin! <laughs> I'm snowy! A powder snow, if you don't mind. I knew I'd find you in the end. This is wonderful, Tintin. Oh, my friend. And Snowy, too. How often I have thought of you. You're ill. You're shaking with fever. Come on, we must hurry. Wrap yourself in my anorak, and we'll go. No, Tintin, suppose he comes back. There's no danger. One of my friends is waiting outside. Any sign of the Yeti, and he'll whistle. <laughs> it's the Yeti. <laughs> Lean on me. Hold tight. You'll see. We'll manage. Tintin, look out! He's coming in! <laughs> this is it for uh, I wonder who he's going to eat first. <laughs> Tintin, my friend, I told you. Quick, my pickaxe! <laughs> oh, he's picking up the camera. Perhaps he thinks it's an old dev. George, he's taking a picture of himself! But the camera flash frightened him to death! Hang on, Tintin! Here I come! <laughs> he's running out of the cave! <laughs> Captain! Captain! Are you hurt? An atom bomb. What happened? A hairy atom bomb, wasn't it? We all did! On our way back home, even if it is on yak back. Poor snowman. How strange. You said poor snowman. The only one who knows him, and you don't call him abominable. Of course not. He did not abandon me. He took care of me. Without him, I would have died of cold and hunger. And now it is I who am abandoning him. Mind you, I... I wish we'd managed to get a picture of our abominable snowman. <clears throat> Just a minute. Blistered barnacles, we did get a photo, we did. The Yeti took one of himself. Right, where's the camera, where's the camera? In the hands of the Yeti, Captain. What? We left it in the cave. What? Whoa! Oh. What? Back, we must come back. No, <laughs> and when I say no, I mean no. <laughs> <laughs> Well, perhaps it's better that people don't know he exists. Goodbye, my friend! You know, I hope they never succeed in finding him. They would treat him like some wild animal. I tell you, Tintin, from the way he took care of me, I couldn't help wondering if, deep down, he had not a human soul. Who knows, Jack? Who knows? Tintin in Tibet starred Leo McKern as Captain Haddock, Richard Pierce as Tintin, and Andrew Sachs as Snowy. With Neil Roberts as Tharky, Paul Courtney Hugh as Chang, Brett Usher as Blessed Lightning, John Church as Shining Light, and Eric Allen as Burning Fire. Other parts were played by members of the cast. The Adventures of Tintin by Hergé have been dramatized by Simon Eastwood and produced by John York.